Hi, Jim Shaw here from Crystal Group. Today we're going to talk a little bit about Mill Standard 810 uh, method 509, which is salt fog and salt fog atmospheres. Uh, where is this important? Well, anytime that you have an atmosphere that contains uh, salinity or salt, um, like a, a ship going application or coastal regions, or if you're just designing the product to be in that kind of an environment, you want to test for uh, salt fog. And so this particular test is intended to find corrosion, um, contamination of connectors, any kinds of uh, contacts that would be a problem, any kind of materials that are not adequately protected in your box so that you can uh, prevent that from happening, um, verify that you don't have any corrosion issues, and uh, maintain a high quality box in the delivery. At Crystal Group, we've uh, had enough requests from customers that we actually bought a singleton uh, salt fog machine here and there's a, currently a test going on inside this particular machine. I'm here with uh, one of our very talented compliance engineers, uh, Jared Christensen, and uh, he is in the process of doing a little bit of maintenance on this particular um, machine right now. So we can actually test entire units or you can test samples of things that are you're trying to look for conformal coating to protect um, a unit or um, in a, a particular surface treatment of aluminums or steels, yep. um, just anything in there. Okay, that's, that's very good. Um, and so, Jared, how does it make the mist, the fog in here? Is there a pump that basically sprays mist? Uh, yes, so the, the water comes in over here and uh, turns into vapor, and then there's, um, in each corner, there is a uh, release valve that lets it uh, mist out into the chamber. Um, every few days while the test is running, we have to open it up. We have to pause the test, open it up, and we have um, some beakers in there that we can measure exactly how much is being produced and okay. make sure that that is what's So you're happening. actually, you're monitoring what, how much mist is actually falling onto Correct. the unit. Okay. And this is a pretty tough test, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And uh, we, we always, uh, we have some, uh, it's good designs that pass this this kind of testing. Yeah, yes okay. we do. All right. Why do we do salt fog testing? We're looking for corrosion of contacts, we're looking for corrosion of metals, we're looking for um, galvanic action uh, that is promoted by the salt fog or salt solution, the brine that's in the system. So that's why we're doing it. Generally, the test duration is um, a day of wet being in the salt fog and then a day drying out and then a day of wet and then a day drying out. Now you can compress that into just 48 hours of testing and then uh, checking it thereafter if you want to kind of accelerate that process. So that's the, the criteria for the test and you're looking again for any kind of uh, function problem with the connections, the electrical circuitry, any kind of corrosion. We do tear the unit apart and then just look for any kinds of signs of that type of activity. Um, and when you see that, you know that you have a problem with respect to the materials you've put together for your, your electronics enclosure or the, the rugged server that, that, you're, um, that you're building. So it's a, it's a really good check for us to verify that we've done the right things in terms of uh, putting the unit together. Well, um, that's just a quick overview, and I, many thanks to Jared, uh, one of our compliance uh, engineers. Um, but uh, this is what salt fog testing looks like at Crystal Group. Have a great day.